EVE is without a question the hardest planet to land on in Kerbal Space Program, but we will attempt exactly this. But first, we will take a look at Gilly, send the base there in order to explore potential mining opportunities, and then we will send a whole refuel space station there. So have fun and welcome to the first episode of Project EVE. But first, we will start on Kerbin on launch pad 1, where the biggest rocket ever launched in the history of this channel is waiting for us. So let me present you the Gigantos, featuring a total of 56 vector engines, a total mass of 3210 tons, a total height of 43.75 meters and a 200 ton payload capacity to LKO. So let's see how the launch went. Here we have liftoff of the so-called Gigantos rocket and here it is burning its way into orbit which we have almost reached. In fact this rocket is technically an SSTO but a little bit of an orbital kick we have to give with our second stage. So main engine cut off, second stage out and the payload for this rocket is the Gilly base. And after jettisoning the fairings and establishing ourselves into a stable low carbon orbit we can get on our way on our journey towards the EVE system, more accurately towards Gilly. Here we are, the escape burn towards Gilly is fully on its way. And you might also have noticed the cool design of the base itself, which would be a rotating ring. Sadly, this isn't possible in KSP2, but you can just imagine it. And here we are staging away the truss structure and then leaving Kerbin for a very, very long time. Actually, this base will never return. And here is EVE. Enjoy the views. Isn't it beautiful? And we will land there in the upcoming weeks, so you might consider subscribing to the YouTube channel to not miss that and join the Discord server, first link in the description. But anyways, we have staged away the transfer stage and now the base is completely self-propelled and here we're getting flung away from EVE towards another celestial body. And here is Gilly and we will land on Gilly in a very spectacular fashion. We will firstly just slow down to zero meters a second relative to Gilly and then let ourselves drop down to Gilly, what you can see here. So enjoy the views of the best moon in the whole of KSP. But yeah, now the landing begins. The engine has been initiated. We are slowly but surely slowing down. The ground is coming closer and slowly but surely we have to decide where to land because our fuel is slowly depleting. Here we are only meters away from the surface of Gilly. We are about to touch down. We are about to establish a base that isn't in our home system, that is the Kerbin system. But here we have, after a while of throttling the engine up and down, we have final touchdown on the surface of Gilly. We have landed the base. Here it is. And the surface analysis has actually given out the result that the surface of Gilly is usable for mining. So let's get to the second part of this video. Which is the GERR, the Gilly Eve Refuel and Research Station. Which consists out of the following module. We have the CSM, Command and Service module, where the Kerbals will live. We have the EPM, the energy providing module with the solar panels. We have the GERH, the Gilly Eve refuel hub. And we have the GTS, Gilly transfer stage. So let's assemble the whole thing. And here goes the first rocket you can see on the top of the screen which module is included. And in this case it's the CSM. So after a little stage separation we are on our best way into the orbit of Kerbin where it can decouple the CSM and leave it on its own and couple all the other modules to it. So here we have the CSM in orbit. Let's get to the next launch. This time we will launch the EPM, the energy providing module with the solar panels on it. Here stage separation and after a little orbit burn we are allowed to dock to the CSM. 
Next up we have the big orange re refueling tank with different docking ports on it. But first of all a core left cross on steroids and after a little stage separation the third one we can dock to the CSM and the EPM. And with that the core modules of the station are all complete. So everything that's missing now is the transfer stage and here it goes. You can see the symbol of the space station is now complete. Nothing is transparent anymore because everything has been launched. And now we can burn into orbit and after that dock this module to the whole space station as well. Now this was the hardest one to dock since it's difficult to maneuver but at the end I managed to do it and after that we can go on our way to Gilly as well. Here we go, we are on our best way and here a little panoramic view of the station so you get a bit, little bit an overview of which modules are where and to see them in action on this beautiful burn towards Gilly. The last thing missing from our colony is this station. Now what you might have noticed, there are struts on this uh, station, you know, so it's launched in one piece. Now I gotta admit, the station we built prior and this one is not the same. It just didn't work out, okay, the Kraken, it disassembled it. So what I did is I loaded up the complete station, added struts and sheeted it into orbit. But you could see we assembled the station, it would work. But here is E for the second time and for the second time we will see Gilly in a little bit of a moment. But not before this beautiful sunset behind Eve and then we can start to decelerate and to get ourselves into a circular Eve orbit and adjust the alignment and everything. So we are on the best way to get to Gilly where we can circularize and complete the colony and after that we will have a completed Gilly colony. Here is Gilly for the second time in this video and we are approaching with the full powerhouse of this space station and then we have circularization achieved. And with that this colony is done. This colony is officially done. And something else is also done. Because after all that we've gone through we are ready. We are ready for Eve. And with that, I hope that you liked this video and subscribe to not miss the Eve video coming in the co next couple of weeks. We see us in the next video. Goodbye.